Hello and welcome everyone to Sekiro Shadows die twice. My fan is too high. Okay, that should be better. Um I uh, what am I doing? Am I in the game? Why aren't you clicking? Playing on PC here. Um which has been kind of hit or miss for me lately. Uh, so what I'm going to do is start a new game. I want to play this blind. I've played a tiny bit. I think I've gotten to like one boss, maybe. ロイヌが親の次に大事なものお前の心に刻むがよいあれが今日から I have seen more of this cutscene <laughs> than anything else in the game because I've watched this like four times now. Ashinanokunitorikara,二十四年。Ashinanokuniwa,shayoni,ari。狼の忍びはすべてを失っていた。育ての義父も、守るべき主も。忍びよ。目覚めてください。あなたの主のために。
俺の主のためにだねはちょっと変だな。Got some ash on my face or something. I have kind of forgotten what little I knew about the like true story setup here. So,、um, this is basically going to be blind.、Uh, I've, like, like I say, I think I got to one boss. I want to say I did like the horse dude that's fairly early on. Um, I mean, I don't know if that's the first boss, but.、Uh, and I know there was some like big general guy、um, fairly early that teaches you some stuff. Who's pretty tough. Unfortunately, this is giving me Xbox button prompts, but I am using a PS5 controller, so, you know. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a test case.、Uh, we're going to record an episode, see how this goes. I'm doing a new recording setup for PC stuff because my old setup wasn't working. Hopefully, this all works well. All right. Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Burrow's Wolf. Your destiny awaits you at the Moon, moon, the moon View Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Uh, we have an equipment menu. Change currently equip quick items. Five slots available to equip and switch out quick items as needed. Cool. Cool. Can I go to options and、uh, controller config? Is there any way to change these buttons? Don't look like it. Nope. Does not look like it. That's a drag.、Um, this would explain why the game is so quiet. Let's do that. For now,、uh, let's see. Input device options. Controller, keyboard, mouse, controller. Yeah, that's a bummer. Really would be nice if you could set it to. Xbox or、uh, away from Xbox button prompts. Okay, I can swim. I don't think there's anything I can do here right now. Good to know that's there for later. Alright, well, let's get the hell out of the pit. Ashina Reservoir. Well, first things first, let's see if I can pick up that item. Can I just like fall in? This will probably kill me. Yeah, I don't know. This is. That was under there, so it's like over that wall. Whatever. Presumably, we can come back here later. I don't know how this. Oops, some shit. How this game works as far as its like, environmental setup. It's a very pretty game. Looks real good. Okay, so we use the square button to interact with this stuff. Got some dudes.、Uh, let's see. Stealth. Advance without being seen by crouching in bushes or moving under floors. You do not have a sword at the moment. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the moon view tower. You're about to be seen. Warning, mark, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. Okay, so. Crouch.
Uh, I am using the Japanese audio because it drives me bonkers when people play this with the English audio. ミコ様はまた気当たりでしょうお読みかのそうじゃなまだほんの子供というに囚われとは気の毒なことじゃああ源一郎様も何かお考えがあるのだろうがはいはい源一郎様 believe Genichiro is the bad dude. What's that? Oh, it's just saying I've heard the eavesdrop. Okay. Um, yeah, real into this game generally, but it's one of those things that like I just never had the time for. Um, or the, you know, energy to start like a new Souls game that I knew was going to be tough and take time and I know this game is supposed to be especially hard because many people who are oops, uh, veterans of Souls games still really struggle with this one so but I'm into it I want to do it I love hard games I love a challenge I'm into this I'm also I guess you would say a Japanophile I lived there for a while, studied there for school, and while I'm generally less into like historical, I guess historical games, and I'm more interested in um, Japanese culture where like the historical sort of intersects with the modern. Can I listen to those guys? I don't know. Um, still interested in, in this and seeing a different side of From Software. So I'm pretty excited to finally see what this is. よく来てくれた。久しいな、狼よ。<laughs> お迎えに参上いたしました。我がアルジ。うむ。表を上げよう。草美丸。そなたの Sabi Maru, um, kind of interesting stuff that I unfortunately won't be able to like do much with because I'm playing this in English. Um, like I want to know what the kanji is for that. Kusabi is like, I want to say like a binding or tie, um, and Maru is circle, so like the binding circle, kind of an interesting possible meaning for that um uh anyway a uh, katana given by kuro the divine heir an heirloom of the hirata family a cadet branch descended from ashina once thought lost it was uh, it has found its way back into the hands of the wolf the name kusabi maro besieges a shinobi's role is to kill but even a shinobi must not forget mercy a mantra the blade itself may manifest sweet Okamio 
Healing Gourd. A gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine. Resting refills the gourd. Uh, made by an apprentice of the extraordinary doctor Dogen. Though it is strange that the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret to how it works. その橋下の抜け穴を見つけてきてほしい。見つけたらそうだな。足の端上でアイズをくれるか。ほら、昔聞かせてくれたであろう。all right, using quick items can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you've taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Uh, up to use and left and right to cycle. That's going to be super confusing for me, having just come off of Demon Souls uh, and still in the middle of a play of Dark Souls Remastered. So many books. Like, I want to be locked in this tower. Bunch of rattled books. Pellet. Medicinal pellet that slowly restore... Bleh, I can't... I really can't talk today. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. A secret treatment passed down for generations in these lands. Records say it has been used in battles since times long gone and lent to the famed resilience of Ashina warriors. A pill case full of these pellets would also serve as a battle charm. Um, that is indeed a very, like, uh, Asian style of medicine. Um, time I spent in China, um, I got very, very sick one day, um, and was fed some pellets that looked much like that, in fact. Alright, let's do this then. Oh, right. Um, so I have to actually go in here and put this on. I guess I'll put that on as well. We have a homeward idol. A small palm-sized wooden Buddha can be used repeatedly. Held by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father, its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's idol or the dilapidated temple. So let's put that here. And uh, I imagine we'll get more stuff later. Inventory menu. Items currently in position can be viewed for the inventory menu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oops, triggers. Uh, we already looked at that. Don't have anything else to worry about. Cool. Let's go stab some fools. All right, I'm supposed to heal. Posture and death blows. A shinobi aims to break an opponent's posture. Attacking an enemy is one way to achieve this. When an enemy's posture breaks, he is vulnerable to a shinobi death blow. Right button to attack or after breaking posture. Same button for a death blow. Hey, I know how to do this because I have played through this area again, like probably, I don't know, three times or something. Oops, that's the wrong friggin' button. And I'm probably gonna die. There's that repost. That was uh, sad, but you know, it's fine. We gotta find our sea legs. 
for sure. I can't break things. So, this is a Dark Souls game, confirmed. Um... Deflection. Sometimes relentless attack is not enough to break an enemy's posture. Deflecting enemy attacks is another way to damage their posture. A master shinobi uses a combination of deflect and attacks to achieve swift victory. Yes, well, I already knew how to do this, but... Come on. Let's go. Kidook. Guys take a long time to die. Uh, was this the way that I came down? I think it was. Feels like this is getting a little framey here, which is a bummer, probably because of my recording setup. By locking onto your enemy and keeping your enemy in front of you, you'll find it much easier to attack, deflect, and perform other combat actions. Lock on, release target, or change target. Same as always for souls. Oops. So yes, I believe this is the way I came. Do a little quick murder. Um. Anybody else around? Let's get up here. We do some tenchu. So you can jump on these guys if I remember right. Can really bully these dudes. Because they do not have the ability to deflect more than one hit, apparently. See, no one's dropping anything yet. Okay, we got a tough dude. Counter Slash can be performed immediately after deflecting an attack. This allows you to deal posture damage without giving the enemy time to recover. So this is basically the same deal. Oh, shit. Ah, that's me. I guess we do not get the, uh, the other mechanic yet for rising from the grave. Okay. Alright, let's try this again. Ow. Right, not Dark Souls, so being in the middle of a kill animation does not protect you. Good to know. Come on, buddy. It's going to take a little while to learn the ins and outs, I guess. Get used to parrying. I mean, so far so good. These grunts are not too difficult to deal with. Okay. One. Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. The number of death blows required to kill an enemy is shown by the red circular markers above their vitality bars. Each death blow removes one marker. Alright, 
And I get a pellet. Huzzah for pellets. Um, so at this point, this door, I believe, is locked. Does not open from this side. This full of ash. Ash gripped into a hardened clump. Throw it at an enemy to temporarily distract them. In Ashina, the snow falls thick, and thus the hearth runs thick with ash. Okay. So, there's a bunch of stuff around here. We can grab onto this. Uh, there's stuff down there to get. And we can do this. And do a little eavesdropping. Alright, um, so I have to drink my coffee here. There's this little weird dude who hangs out over here. I don't know, like, what the deal is with this guy. But he's dead now. Sorry, little imp demon man. Whatever you are. Um, yes, there's no corpse physics, so maybe it's not a Dark Souls game after all. Um, but yeah, like I'm into the weirder aspects of this game. I always like a little fantastical stuff mixed in with my historical so i'm interested in seeing how weird this game may get because just japanese period drama like honestly doesn't do that much for me despite my love of japan and its history which i do find fascinating um, but i don't necessarily always want it in like dramatic form can i not grab up here it's not um so before we do the door, we'll uh, drop down here and kill a couple of lizards, which I feel bad for doing. I don't even honestly know why I'm doing it. It's one of my ongoing issues with From Software games, is I don't like killing animals in games, and uh, it's not like, you know, a focus of their games or anything, but dogs and wolves make a regular appearance, which bothers me as a person who likes dogs and wolves, and also because it's hyper unrealistic. Um, like, wolves do not generally gang up on people. Uh, are generally afraid of people and stay the hell away from them. Uh, generally more of a concern, like, for, you know, in period pieces such as this, they would be presumably more of a problem for potentially, um, oops, eating livestock or, you know, something like that, rather than, like, being a, a scary thing for actual people. Ugh. Nope. Guess I can't do that. Can't do it there either. Can I, like, squeak out over here and do it? I can! I don't think this gets me anything at all. Nope. But that's fine. Just gotta do everything because I'm one of those people that has to do everything. Uh, okay, that's blocked off. There's some junk here. So we're good. Yes. Oh. 
オオカミをよく見つけてくれたさあ参ろう御意地の定めから逃れることしかできぬとはな、はあ、はいはい参ろうと思ってるこの城を出て伊豆子へ参ろうかまずはアシナの国を離れるかあるいはどこかに身を隠すか It's not gonna matter, dude. そなたはどう思う魚医のままに魚医かそなたは変わらぬなはいや懐かしいと思うてなさあ参ろう Let's do it because I want to get this cutscene over with and get all of this starting stuff over with and get into the meat of the game because, as I said, I have like had false starts on this game several times. This is a gorgeous scene though. Like, this is the kind of stuff that makes me really excited to see what Elden Ring is going to be. しいなミコよおじうえの墓前以来かケンイチロウ殿私はすまぬお任せを。Time for disgrace。邪魔だてするか、巫女の忍びを。巫女の忍び。ほいほいほい。That's an unblockable move. I believe is what that little kanji signifies. <laughs> Unwinnable boss fight at the start of the game?、Uh, yes, maybe this is indeed a Dark Souls game. ミコは term for like a temple girl. Maybe there's different kanji. Or maybe it has a wider use. All right, well, it's time to meet the sculptor. I love this whole area. It's so cool. Shinobi prosthetic. The artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica of a human arm 
fitted with a variety of mechanisms apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. So yeah, I love this. This is like a super rad thing. Just this dude just carving Buddhas. なわなんという。そのみ、さしずみ。忍にあぶれた狼と言ったところか。言えない。それが忍びじゃな。わしは仏を掘らなきゃなら。お前さんはお前さんで好きにしな。仏 何故俺はここにいるただ拾ったのよ屍かどうかもわからぬものを野良犬に食わせてやることもあるまいどれほど俺は眠っていたお前さんを拾ってからずいぶん経つぞそうかじゃが主の主はまだ生きておるぞ足なの城で捕らわれとなっているだがすぐにもその血を利用されちまうだろうお前さんを見ればその価値は十分にあろうというものじゃこの左腕俺に何をしたそいつは忍び騎手忍び騎手の狼にはお扱い向きの牙じゃろうて仏を掘るには無用でなお前さんにくれてやる忍び騎手そいつはただ失った腕を補うもんじゃない忍具を見つけたらわしのところに持ってくるがいい
古い過去の記憶そういった類のものじゃ We will make use of this before too long. Um, this particular Buddha looks very much like、uh, some depictions of Guanyin or Kanon in Japanese. Guanyin being the Chinese Avalokiteshvara, it's a Bodhisattva in Mahayana Buddhism. So yeah, like, I, oh, hey, now I can actually view something. This is the first time I've ever been able to do that. Like that I've ever gotten a prompt. Where are you going, Holmes? I don't even know how these things work. This is just a dude who's like telling us that we can pick up this coin purse, I guess. A purse filled with a small amount of sen. Can be used to acquire the sen inside. Has a somewhat satisfying weight to it. The sen in this purse is not lost upon death. So I believe this is our currency. What if I touch this one? Huh, that's weird. Now all of a sudden I get the option to like view these. Uh, well, yes, remnants indeed. Shinobi can leave behind shadows of their past actions known as remnants.、Uh, remnants are left to, to discipline one's peers. Some are masters of the way ahead, others provoke sporting rivalries. Cool. Uh, a network connection is required. Yes, indeed. Okay. Is this dude just like trying to tell us that this is here? Which. Have I ever been down here? I don't actually know that I've ever been down here. What the hell is this? I have no idea. Don't think I ever came over this way in the handful of times I played this game. But now I'm just gonna like look at all of these now that I figured out how to do this. <laughs> That's an exciting remnant. Let's see, was it this one that showed us the way out? I just need to fiddle this with. with For a minute.、Um, I think this was the one, right? That ran around the side. Yes, it was. So let me praise it. Because even though I knew that that was there, that's a nice thing to do for people. More pellets. Always good. And I guess the lady is not currently here yet. She must show up a bit later.、Um, so we've got our Buddha here. Sculptor's Idol Menu. Sculptor's Idols serve as a checkpoint and can be found throughout Ashina. Resting at a Sculptor's Idol will completely replenish, replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. Additionally, quick items and spirit emblems and storage will be added to your current inventory. Some exceptions, resting will also revive defeated enemies.、Uh, quick items and spirit emblems in storage. I don't actually know what spirit emblems are thus far. I want to say that's like a magic. Thing, or, like, you use it for abilities or something. Which I only know because I edited a story about that not too long ago. So, do you have to just, like, stand here for a minute and wait for it to load? So, like, why is this one. Why am I not getting a prompt? All I can do is close it. And this was the first couple times I went through the game,、um, or went through, you know, and played this early stuff. This was what always happened. I never. Was able to actually do anything with those, so that's kind of weird. But,、uh, hello, sir. My name is Hmm. I mean, I have the look of one. ぜひそれがしと立ち寄ってもらおう。All right, let's do it.
<laughs> Some really funny animation. We also have an undead. It's definitely Dark Souls. それが死を火曜に従前に殺した者そうはおらぬお主は何だ死なずあるいは虫付きと呼ぶ者もおるな死ねぬのでただここにおるのだそこもとはこのようなあれ寺で何よ随分と眉間にしわが寄っておるそこもとよそれが死を使い刀の修練をせぬかお主の使命を果たすために死ねぬ体ゆえ幾度でも切られてやれるぞ。I appreciate the offer. 承知した。よし。ではやろう。刀を振らば。I mean, it certainly works for video games. Uh, so you can do training with him, which, like, I'm not going to worry about any of this right now. Hanbei is his name. Hmm. そこの再戦箱にも時折何やら流れつくのよ。また来るがいい。そこもとの技の試し、いくらでも受けようぞ。Thanks, dog. All right. Um, offering box items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. Oh, interesting. When the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. So that's kind of cool. I guess it's sort of like a catch-all thing. Like you can buy, um, buy your way into stuff you've lost access to. Maybe. Um, I do like these little Buddha dudes over here. This is very, um. Very reminiscent of some temples that I visited in China and Japan. I actually lived for a very short while at a temple in China, uh, which was a little bit newer than this, actually quite a lot newer because it had been destroyed and rebuilt. So it didn't have a lot of age in the same way, but grappling hook. Shinobi prosthetics grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take the high ground. Nearby grapple points are Designated with a circular symbol. When the symbol turns green, the grapple point is within reach. So the bridge is out. Does this dude have something interesting to say about it? Whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> no idea. Just a cool way to kill yourself? Let's see, like, this one's not loading. Maybe it's just because it's longer, it takes a minute to load in? Maybe it just doesn't work? Maybe the network stuff is a little funky? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, see that one loaded right up. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> is this like a tutorial? Maybe the network ones aren't working and there's some that the game just, like, gives you? I don't friggin' know. That doesn't really feel right. No, because these have ratings, so... Don't imagine it would let you rate. Uh, and there are a ton more of these than I'm used to seeing as well, so I don't know. Whatever. We'll commune with the idol. Uh, you can instantly travel between Sculptor's Idols that have already been communed with. Travel can be accessed via the Sculptor's Idol travel menu. So fast travel is available right from the start. Which is cool if you're into that, I guess. Don't know that I care one way or the other. 
Ungo's sugar. Sugar candy made in Sempo Temple. Sustaining Ungo's blessing. Temporarily reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Bite the candy and take the Ungo stance to impart its inhuman benediction. By doing so, you endure the excess karma of man from the spirits within. Senpo monks spread this candy across Ashina in honor of their of her military heroes. So yeah, those seem like they would be useful. Oh, well, so much for stealth. Yo, come on, I'm right here, man. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once and from some distance away. Uh, I'm sign of the world different than loot in that they must be approached and picked up. Press and hold square. Acquire loot. Press near item to pick up item. Right, got it. So we can just absorb money, which is pretty funny. So I do very much like the Shinobi prosthetic. The grappling hook is really bitchin'. That's one of the things about this game that I think is super cool. I also like these aerial attacks. It's pretty rad. Ow. Let me get my timing down on these parries. So he also had a ceramic shard, a piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Throw at an enemy to draw their attention. Bring and smashing such pieces made for a popular sport amongst Ashina boys. Even after growing up, they remember the old games well. Uh, let's see, we got an item here. Ceramic shard. What's up, dude? Pellets. I really need to be watching my levels here. So I'm not sure if the game isn't too loud. All the bridges, man. Like, whoever's in charge of this domain is not doing a good job with bridge maintenance, apparently. Alright. So much stabbing. More shards. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. That was not what I wanted to do. What I want to do is get up here, but it doesn't look like it will let you wrap up here. Is this a thing I... Oh, oh god. Camera. What? Okay. You still can get up. It just won't let you grapple it. Jesus Christ. That is freaking me out. There we go. On top of the world. Can I jump on this dude from here? That would be rad. Nope. <laughs> but... I am stealthy enough, apparently, that he can't hear me fall, like, a uh, really, really, really long way. Oh, hi. The game does allow you to be pretty stealthy. Uh, let's see, we already read that description, I believe. And where's our friend? Oh. Is he now going to be alerted? It's nice you don't have to like sneak up on people. Um, like by going super slow. That's one of the things that makes stealth super boring to me in most games that are stealth games. Um, that sort of like forcing you to slow the pace way down. I like that this is an action game but still has some stealth elements to it. 
to kind of change things up. I think that's pretty cool. Performance is definitely dipping in and out here, which is not the best. It's because I have a very old PC. I don't know what the deal is with the the chicken. It's again one of those things I feel bad about. Like, I don't want to kill the chicken. Cockatrice, whatever it is, I don't know. Let's see, we got dogs. I would frankly prefer to just avoid outright. Um, come in here and grab the shuriken wheel. A mechanical device made by the mechanical genius Dogen. Can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. While it is palm sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel as the edges were designed for stacking. Find an example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. Uh, fitting prosthetic tools can't be used on their own by giving them to the sculptor. They can be fitted into the shinobi prosthetic. Okay. Uh, I don't really feel compelled to do that just yet. Don't actually know how many... How many you can have equipped at once, because... I don't know. We'll figure that out, I guess. Um, anything interesting here? There's that big old fella. And if memory serves, we can get a free hit on him by... Shit, I fucked up. But that's fine. Perilous attacks. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks signified with a danger symbol. When these occur, watch carefully and look to perform a specific response. Uh, let's see, if you jump before sweep lands, they'll jump for grabs, jump or sprint out of their range, or step dodge. Or... Uh, oh, or you can still deflect them, you just can't guard them. Okay. Interesting. Uh, it's probably one of those. Uh, to stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. Safety roll can be used to quickly recover from being knocked down or posture broken. When posture broken or knocked down, it would be the safety roll. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, I was literally just about to do this. No, nope, that was ineffectual. Ah, that was... I'm used to rolling, not this, like, dodge that he does. This is much more um, Bloodborne style, I guess. Uh, the Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. One charge is always restored by resting a sculpture's idol. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available again. All right. bead, a loose prayer bead. Offering four of them in a sculptor's idol will increase maximum vitality and posture. Currently the wolf has one beads in his possession. Gourd seed. Seed which healing waters continuous from which healing waters continuously spring forth. Give to Emma to increase the maximum uses of the healing gourd. The twisted gourd of medicinal waters was known throughout Ashina since long ago, but it was the extraordinary healer Dogen and his pupil Emma we discovered the self-replenishing nature of this seed. Give me your money.
So I actually forget how like money and stuff works in this. Do you... You don't have a blood stain in this, I don't think. Like, nothing to go back and pick up uh, that I can recall. But I don't actually remember how any of that works either. So this will be a journey. So much about this game that I have either forgotten or I just never knew about to begin with. どうにも悪い予感がするのじゃ。何を弱気なことを。両親とはいえ、一心ともあごけんざい。現一郎様の弓も見事なものじゃ。加えて、鬼行部様もおるではないか。鬼行部。おお。鬼は行部正隆様か
Maybe if I wait for them to go away, I can do it quick. Take down on you. I don't need to be hugging a wall, thank you. I do remember there being something over here, but and it doesn't look like this actually goes anywhere. Uh, no, that's not true. I can get over there. But... I want to say there's a... Hello, you don't see me? Uh, I guess not. There's a woman over here I think we need to talk to. Who gives us something important, if memory serves. Boy, you guys are just... Making the rounds. Ain't ya. And that is her over there, I think. Or actually, maybe it's him we need to talk to. Go bad for this dude. That is all. Got it, dude. Bells. Okay, it's definitely Bloodborne. Oh, Inosuke ka segare yo. Waka sama o mina katta ka no. Nanja, damatte shimote. Hara de mo itai ka no. そなたは昔から腹を下しやすかったな。まあ、よい。せがれよ。この鈴を<笑> All right. Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. We can use this at the Buddha back at the temple. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Inosuke. わがせがれよ。守り鈴は仏様に備えてくれたかえ。ほら、偏屈な物資がおる。あれ寺があるじゃろう。仏様ならそこにおられるでな。Yes, we'll try. Oh god, it's a chicken. I did not know there was a chicken here. Yo. Okay, right, I forgot I need to actually roll to get away. Yo, man, chickens, what's going on? Can I get in here? Oh, I can get in here. Litecoin purse. Litecoin purse. Litecoin purse. Sweet. Uh, let's talk to Buddy over here. 
No problem, man. But I gotta get to the next uh, idol. Which may be tough now. Alright, man. Well, I think you have more to say. Nope. Guess not. Okay, well. Maybe we complete his thing by offering that bell. As I do remember, that was like kind of the one thing I did. I don't actually remember if I finished it, but I guess I must have because I remember more dialogue from him. Ah, yes, these guys are rough. With these like cannons or whatever. Alright, so there's definitely another Sculptor's Idol over here somewhere. Not Sculptor's Idol. Or is it? I don't remember. Let's just get rid of you right off the bat. Black Gunpowder. Black game grains forming the base for gunpowder. Material used in alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. Even the most mundane form of gunpowder has a wide variety of applications. And Antidote Powder. Powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heal status abnormal abnormality poison and temporarily increases poison resistance. Magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote Powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. Okay, poison area confirmed. It's definitely Dark Souls. Now, where is my idol? Chicken! I am sorry, chicken. I don't know why you're here or why you're homicidal. I got no beef with you. Okay, and yes, they are Sculptor's Idols. Physical Enhancement. The Enhanced Physical Attributes option has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. You can spend four prayer beads to create a prayer necklace, which will permanently increase your maximum vitality and posture. Awesome. Except for now, I gotta roll because it is time for me to go to work. So thanks everybody for joining me. This was a whole lot of fun. And uh, I'm eager to see what is in store next time. So hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Take care and be safe out there.